everyone, welcome to the show. Um, I hope your day is going just swimmingly, is what I hope. Um, so let's talk about the following, just kind of brief topic here, but I think an important one that goes overlooked sometimes, which is what you need to be doing while you're looking at a house. There's the obvious, right? Um, does the house work for us? Does it have enough space? Does it have enough bedrooms? Like, um, does it look like the, the roof is, is caving in, right? The obvious things that you think about when you look at a house. But what I am talking about here is being observant as you tour a home. So what do I mean by that? I mean, look, you're like a, a, a little detective when you're touring a house, or at the very least, I am as your agent. That's what I'm doing, right? I, I can figure out inside of 60 seconds if like this is a decent house or not based on your parameters and what you need. To me, I'm like, I don't need 15 minutes. I can figure this out pretty quickly. But what I'm doing mostly is I'm looking for, for signs, clues, detective work is happening here. What do I mean by that? Well, do we have any shared hobbies? Really, when I say we, whether it's me or the buy, primarily the buyers, it's like, are there any shared interests here, right, that I could use to my advantage in a scenario that it might be warranted? For example, we've got, you know, multiple offers on the house, or there's something that we need in, in order to make this deal happen. And, it, you know, I'm looking for that connection point. Because, you know, human beings, I, I believe, fundamentally are, are good. There's a lot of shitheads out there. But I believe humans are fundamentally good. And I believe that humans want to support and help people with, with common interests, right? They, they want to shop with people that, you, you know, do business with people that are like-minded, right? That's where I'm going with it. So if I walk through a house, for example, and I see a gun safe, I go, cool, note taken, right? Note taken, right? What are some other things? Like you might go into a home, I'm personalizing these, right? But let's say I'm touring a house for me and I see like, oh, maybe they got like a little liquor cabinet or they, oh, they got a little shelf of some whiskey over there. And I go, oh, okay, okay, cool. And, and I'm, I'm going to even look. I'm going to see well, what do they actually have on the shelf. What am I looking for in that scenario? Okay, what kind of stuff are they into? And maybe a scenario where I could say, okay, I noticed they got a couple bottles of High West, right? And I noticed they don't have any of the good bottles of High West. So... I don't know, what if with the offer, what if I wrote an offer on your house and I'm like, hey, just as a thanks for considering the offer, no pressure, but I just wanted to, to give you a bottle of the Rendez, Rendezvous Rye, uh, you know, barrel select, the, the Merlot blend that, that just came out, you know, just, hey, no big deal. I just noticed you collect whiskey and no strings attached, but eh, maybe, maybe you'd enjoy this. Well, that's hearts and minds, right? In a competitive market, I believe that things like that matter because everyone's got a heart, right? Well, yeah, mo most people, there's people like me that, you know, not so much, but, um, you know, most people have a heart and they go, I, that was kind of a cool move. You know, they gave us that bottle of booze or something, or I see this guy's got a gun safe. Maybe I give him some cool box of ammo. I'm like, hey, this, this ammo just came out, you know, some new, new hollow points. I don't know if you carry or not, but, you know, maybe, maybe check these out sometime. I'm looking for little things like that. Do they have a do they have a family, right? And uh, do their kids uh, have a bunch of photos at the water park or something? Like I don't know. Maybe get them a a day pass, a family day pass to whatever the local water park is or something like that. Little things. It's hearts and minds games that you want to be thinking about because I do believe that those things, while not often are they important, sometimes they are. What are the other detective things that I'm looking for? just signs on what kind of homeowners they are. Is the house massively cluttered? Because cluttered houses tip, tell me something. These are cluttery people, which means that things get left behind and like things pile up. Mm, did housework get piled up? Like TLC on the house, did that get piled up too? I have to admit, I would think it, it probably does. I don't think that you're amazing in this area, but you suck in this area. It's like, eh, usually it kind of crosses over there a little bit. So these are just things to look at, right? And I do believe that not as much right now as things have changed, but sometimes they do matter. If someone had a military brat background, if the house uh, looks like a meth lab, probably was, right? So take take note of the signs, not just how many bedrooms does it have, but...
what kind of human beings lived here. Okay, guys, uh, I'll leave you on a high west note, actually. So, uh, a midwinter's night dram. I'm recording this about a week prior to uh, the release of the new version of this that will be coming out. I think it's October 2nd, so probably after this video comes out. But if you're in Utah, I don't know. If you're in the Utah area on October 2nd, I maybe be driving up the high west. It's this Sunday for me, and guess where my ass gonna be at 9 a.m. on a Sunday at a distillery. Ha! Just, just ridiculous. So I hope you guys are uh, doing good at, at home. If you need real estate help, let us know. Happy to help. Minus little land deals, but pretty much anything beyond that, happy to help. Or rentals. We're not helping you rent an apartment because that's ridiculous. Um, but otherwise, happy to help you guys. Or if you need a doghouse for your dog, we'll, we'll sell you a doghouse. We'll just take a way bigger commission since it's a smaller purchase price. So anyway, you guys take care. We'll see you next time.